all apply. These are all drums, and we don't want to just think about them as drums, but it's a musical instrument. So you want to think about playing melodies like some of you guys were uh, on top of the patterns. So anyways, you guys are familiar. This, this instrument here has had quite a bit of popularity in the last couple years, the cajon, which basically is just box in Spanish. But the reason I wanted to talk about this first is because this is something that you guys might relate to uh, first right off the bat. So what I want to do is, if I can, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to play something really quick, and I'm going to talk about what I'm going to play, and then I'm going to have Nick uh, play something with me, um, and then I'm going to just talk about how you can use creativity and apply that in some of these rhythms and patterns and this music, expanding your musical uh, vocabulary, if you will, to the set. So listening to uh, the percussionist, not just because you like the sound, but as a musician to take some of those chops and how you can uh, apply those. So let me uh, grab my shaker, shaker real quick. And the thing to note is that it's very important is there's a lot of power in simplicity, as many of you already know. But you got a lot of instruments like these, maracas, shakers, guidos, and it's like, okay, you know, sometimes it's just a funny thing, you know, it's like, oh, I got maracas, boom, 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 yeah, you know. But there's a lot of power that can be placed because it's really about the sound. And whenever you play, you, your sound should motivate. The sound that you're trying to create from your instrument should motivate your playing. Yeah. Not the genre, but the sound. And when you pick up, when you go to a place, you should pick your, as many of you do, your snare based on, and your cymbals and your drums based on the sound you're trying to reach. Okay? So, I'm going to play just a little bit by myself. And then I'm going to pick up one of the shakers and I'm going to play the shaker with my left hand simultaneously. And the shaker is going to be used as my ostinato, like my hi-hat. And then as I'm going to play, then I'm going to give Nick, I'm going to give you a nod, and then you just take over with the ostinato on the hi-hat. And then I will play with you on the cajon. Okay? And then when I give you the go-ahead, then you play what the cajon will keep. I'll keep the low and all the other stuff. Then you switch. And you take the lead, and then I'll just add in color on top. Okay? So what this is doing is this is taking away the old theory that the, the percussionist is just a spice. Don't get me wrong. I like being spice. But he can all he can be whatever it needs. Right? Okay. So I'm going to play a little bit of stuff uh, from uh, variations from Peru, Cuba, rock, gospel, and just mix it all and bring some adaptations.
Thank you guys for joining me.